what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are here with two more episodes of haikyuu i know i missed two there's gonna be another one dropping on this friday um i don't know when i'm gonna get to that when i get to the episodes when i get to the episodes i know people want to see me react to the episodes as soon as they drop it's kind of tough with the schedule that i have currently right now so when i get to the haikyuu episodes is when i get to the haikyuu episodes okay there's nothing wrong with waiting a couple of weeks for two episodes to drop and then i react to them okay i'm not missing the hype no matter if i'm i remember i've reacted to one of these episodes um i reacted to one of these episodes like the first one when it when it dropped right it was like a few days after it dropped um it was like I, it came out on the friday and i did it on the sunday and it didn't make a big deal like if you whether it, whether i react to the videos later or earlier it doesn't my views does not spike or anything like that so because i see that i'm looking at them like there's no rush because <laughs> the algorithm just does not like my videos you know what i'm saying like i don't know what it is but <laughs> people just don't like the way out my format and that's just my take in you will see a huge spike when I just start a series like I'll get like over a thousand views for like that episode and then for the next episode the next couple of episodes the views drop massively because people don't necessarily like my format and that's what that that's just what I've come to understand that the people who actually like the format they'll stick around so I'm guessing eventually people are going to gravitate a lot more towards the channel um, that understands because there's a lot of um channels out there now that are not they, they they're so afraid of putting reactions on youtube because they're afraid of losing their channels and stuff like that so they're they're using outside sources you know what i'm saying it's the same cut up version that they put in other sources but at the same time people are realizing it's just for me it's just like there's no cut up versions it's full version so we just got to do what we got to do over here anyway guys let's jump into these reactions we know that kageyama was leveling up last two episodes i did he was leveling up so let's see if he got another level in him we know hinata is out here he's a little jealous because he realizes kageyama can pretty much do anything we all know this he's a genius at volleyball that's not anything to scoff at but anyways we still have a formidable foe on the other side of the net so we still got to pay attention to them. They're trying to wear out their ace. Um, so we still got to pay attention to this team because they are dangerous. We are in the third set tied. The, um, the, the sets are tied. We're in the final set. Let's do this, man. And let's go. We know um, Karasuna should pull out this match. They're not. I don't think the other team is as good. They just have two, in my opinion, they have one of the best players but as a team they're a great team enough to be but they're not as good as Karasuno. that's just my personal opinion just saying <laughs> but anyways guys let's jump into these reactions i will see you guys for the review So that was Haikyuu season four. What is that? Episode 21 and 22, I think. Yeah, pretty good stuff. I don't know how many episodes is left, but if I'm supposed to talk about just the anime itself, as I said, man, the, 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 the animation has been really iffy since the second half started. Um, it wasn't so bad in the first half that we watched before the break. Um, but the second half has been really like in and out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you like these two episodes were fired. They were well done. You can see that they stepped up the animation quality a little bit um, from the last two episodes. You can really see that they really, I don't know. I know they're not doing this on a week to week, a week to week basis. Uh, probably they are. I don't know. Because, you know. I don't know if it's like oh we created an episode this week then we create an episode next week because you know 
in studio things are uh, you know it can be like that because it's anime it's not like live action stuff where you know it's where you gotta pre-record and edit and do all of this other stuff um you know you gotta animate it then you gotta um you know <laughs> you gotta animate it a team of people gotta animate it and then it's gotta go to the to you know what i'm saying editing whatever the situation is because and then it's gotta you know render out and all of this other stuff there's a process to all of this right but i don't know if they're doing it on a week-to-week basis i don't know that for sure um so i'm not even going to try to comment on you know the time that they take or the time that they have to animate these episodes i don't know if these were done way back before the the season even started and they're just coming out i don't know you get what i'm saying it could be that this episode was done last last week or it was done back in september we don't know okay unless you know somebody has that kind of information or somebody got there's an interview and they tell you how it goes i don't know man i don't, I don't speak japanese man but, <laughs> but any case guys let's talk about these two episodes man They're really good they did a very good job of showing a little bit of background of the twins i really enjoyed that it's one of the things that i paused to talk about um i think i think the one with the yellow hair is um Otsumu, right i think that's his name um and he's like the i don't want to say the better twin because at the end they say both of them are equal as his brother said to him and said both of us are you know we're equal in skill it's just that they needed somebody a little bit more crazy so <laughs> i don't doubt that they're both equal not as a setter but as equally in skill they both can pull off um Utsumu as the setter he can pull off a lot of things that his brother can't do because he's a setter. You get what I'm saying? But the other dude, he's not as skilled as a setter. He's a better spiker than Otsumu though. You know what I'm saying? But Otsumu is the ultimate all-rounder. He can do everything just like his brother can do everything. You know, um, Otsumu is the better server. The one with the yellow here. He's the better server because he can do jump floats. He can do um you know jump serves so it's for him i i like how they brought it back to you know what i'm saying his teammates didn't like him because he's arrogant and a lot of times it kind of reminds you of how kageyama used to be you know what i'm saying and the thing about it is that there was nothing wrong with what the, what with how with what kageyama was expecting from his teammates the problem with with Kageyama's um, attitude was his approach to the situation and how he approached his teammates and the way how he said things to his teammates. And it's the same issue here with Utsman. I said, you can have your disagreements about how he says the things he says, but at the end of the day, he just wants to win. He just, you understand what I'm trying to say? His drive is just greater than other people's. And sometimes as a kid you really do not know how to express that so there's a lot of times when you might look at it and you'd be like oh he should be this or he should be that but at the same time you got to understand that these guys are they're high school kids man you know what i'm saying so they don't necessarily have the nuance of your adult you know what i'm saying of knowing how to approach a situation in a in a in a, in a um in a, in a subtle way you get what i'm saying so that this person might not be upset and present things in a better way where they where they will understand and kind of take the, the 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 um the criticism and and not take it to heart and a lot of time and and the thing about it is that when i tell people it's like yeah i'm not afraid to to go in the comment section and defend myself about anything because it's not about people will say why are you trying to defend yourself and all this other stuff it just proves that you might be wrong or whatever listen if i know i'm not wrong about something i'm the first person to tell you when i'm wrong about something but if but if i'm telling you my opinion about something and my perspective about something and you can't agree we can always agree to disagree there's nothing wrong with that i've learned that from, from a very early age in life that you're just not going to please everybody 
everybody in you is not going to have the same ideals. Everybody in you is not going to have the same perspective on life. It's just not going to happen. There's too many of us on this planet Earth for you to think that everybody is going to agree with you unless, unless you're just a yes man. You get what I'm saying? So because I know I'm not a yes man, I've just come to the conclusion that, hey, there's going to be some point of views that I'm going to have that most people are just not going to agree with because anything that is common is never the truth. And, 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 and I'm, a, I'm just telling you what it is. Anything that is common is never the truth. <laughs> That's just how real it is. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, and I want you to look a little bit deeper into what I just said and don't take it at some surface level and come at me. You get what I'm saying? Um, what I'm trying to say is, man, I love that they went back and showed it to him because not only is he a different, approaches situation differently now he grew from those situations and him and his brother still go at it you get what i'm saying but his brother understood him to the point where if he said something bad to him yeah they might fight it out but at the end of the day he understood what he was trying to say because both of them working hard you're not always going to be on your game you know what i'm saying because sometimes he he's going to have a bad serve he's going to have a bad set you know what i'm saying but that's just how he is he's always excelled so he doesn't know failure in some sort of way you see kageyama learned failure from middle school he understands that if he's not nice even now he still struggles to be nice to his teammates he doesn't know how to express it he knows how to do it but he doesn't know how to express it fully yet and i really enjoy how this anime really portrays certain things man they really go to the point where you're really looking at this and be like wow wow and wow you know what I'm saying? So I'm really enjoying Haikyuu, man. That's why I told you guys, don't worry. I'm going to put the episodes out, man. Don't worry. The episodes are coming. Hinata got his moment. And I really like the fact that they gave Hinata his moment. You get what I'm saying? It was well done. Even though they didn't get the point off of it, it they're struggling. <laughs> but I like how they ended the episode, man. Um, I think this is like... How many points in a row did, uh, what is it, they name, they name of their school, Inazaka, in a, in a, is a knockery? <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> okay, what's the, um, how many points, they got like, I think they got like six, about six points in a row, because they was down, they were down by two, and now they're up by three, so like five, five, epi five points in a row they have. Cause they stop them from coming back so they, they're, they're on like a 6-1 run i think right now so great stuff man but anyways this was awesome hope you guys enjoyed the episode with me as much as i did man thank you guys so much for always showing up for the channel man i appreciate it leave a like leave a comment i will catch you guys later man peace